out to all my honky-tonk heroes out there. A little Waylon Jennings for you tonight. My name's Keith Williams with Fretmore Guitar Lessons. Appreciate y'all tuning in today and uh, we're going to learn this uh, fun little song from back in hmm, about 1976 probably something like that. Uh, but anyway, it's going to be in the key of D. We do have a few chords in this one, uh, about three-sevenths. And uh, But anyway, we're going to uh, uh, run, run through this thing. Let me get up to the... Uh, uh, got a couple... Uh, yeah, I guess it's really got two verses and, and, and or one verse and a chorus, really. It's just not too much to it. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, let me go ahead and show you these chords here. Uh, starting off in the D, key of D here. So we come up to the third, uh, third string, second fret, first string, second fret, and then over here to the second string on the third fret, on strum four. And our D seventh is just a backwards D. In other words, it's just it's the same same here. Okay, these still third and first. But we just switch over here, still on the second string, but it's on the first fret instead of the third, okay? That, that gives us our seventh note there, okay? Still strumming four, okay? And we've got a G, <clears throat> so we've got fifth string, uh, second fret, sixth string, third fret, and then first string, third fret. There's a G, and then to get our G7, we just raise our pinky and put our uh, index finger there on the first string of the first fret. Gives us a G7. We've got an A in there. I get the A with the flat part of my index finger, third and fourth, and then uh, second string, second finger on the second fret, strumming five. If you can't do that, you can use three fingers to get the fourth, third, and second. Do it that way, still strumming five. Okay. Then we've got an E in there, so we'll come up to the third string, first fret, then fifth and fourth on the second. There's six strings strumming there on the E. Then a B seventh, we come up to the fourth string first, still on the fifth here, and then we drop down to the third and first on the second fret, and that is our B7 chord, strumming five, okay? There we go, there's our chords. And then we got a little, uh, we got a cool little lick here um, that, that we're gonna do that opens this thing up. So it starts on the, the fifth fret, open, and then it's second, uh, what did I say? I say, okay. It starts on the fifth string, open, <clears throat> and then we're going to go uh, second and fourth fret, and then to the D. And I'm just strumming the... hitting that uh, uh, the next lick is open fourth string again we're walking down on the uh, fifth string from the fourth fret so it's open fourth and then fifth string fourth fret so open open fourth and we'll wind it up in the B seventh position and then E just I'm just so I'm strumming the like on the uh, the, the E I'm doing six six string let's see all right so I'm plucking the sixth and then come up on the second third and fourth Six down, fifth down, and then second, third, and fourth. 
the second, second, third, and then down fifth and fourth, and then up second and third, and then down on the D. Okay. All right. So the last lick there, when it hits that D. Let me go through all the licks here. So it's open fourth, and then goes to the fifth on the second fret. Back to the fourth on the second fret, and then open, open fourth. stretch it I'm having trouble stretching it because I'm I'm holding the neck up so so you can slide down uh, I'm hitting it twice sorry open fourth so you can do it either way but uh, uh, if, if you got long enough fingers it's probably better to just stretch it in there too it's just it's just that open D and then I'm wanting to throw in another lick and it's kind of messing me up here but, but anyway all right so we're going to go right into the uh, verses now uh, since I've screwed that all up let's see if I can screw something else up how about that <laughs> I bet I can I bet you I can all right so here we go uh, <clears throat> uh, first verse so the, the the chord progression is the same all the way through D D7 G uh, G7 Back to D, B7, E, A, back to D. Uh, now, I will throw this in. There's times when I, I'm probably not hitting that D7 the, the right time. I'm trying to, but man, sometimes I want to go to it a little too quick. And so uh, if I do that, you know, I apologize. But uh, uh, you can kind of listen to the song and tell. Cause some of it I kind of know when it's changing, and other times it's like I want to go there maybe a little quicker than it is. But, uh, and you could leave out the D7th and the G7th. You could actually do it without it if you wanted to. Uh, but it does sound pretty good with it. So, okay. And I believe he is doing that. But, uh, right. Go down, leave it, son. I've done, did everything that needs done. I'm pretty sure that one's right. With me goes to G7. Why can't I see? It goes to B7 on C. I best be leaving well in the fall. And me on. about to the we do this course one time and then it, it's got a little lick and it speeds up All right. where does it go now this is the part i'm not sure where it goes to the d7th here i think it goes to the d7th on it seems okay so where does it go good lord it almost sounds like it changes there it seems like it was just the other day so you can do it either way i don't know <laughs> I've listened to it and listened to it like I don't know when, when I want to change, but sometimes I change here. Where does it go? The good Lord only knows. It seems like it was just the other day. Or you could do it this way. Where does it go? The good Lord only knows. It seems like it was just the other day. That seems like the right one there. I was down at Green Gables. That one changes to G7. Hawking the table. Do 
doing a little run, a little uh, uh, kind of muting that uh, four string, just open four string D position. And then we're going to go to the F, all right? So if I really just need that whole F position. Okay, so it's uh, does that. I'd go ahead and get in that, because uh, you're just doing that open D, uh, not playing the chord. And I'd go ahead and get in this position. Uh, so it's really the F position, so you're uh, uh, kind of borrowing those first and second strings. And uh, so it's first string, and then going over here to the uh, third fret on the second string. So it's first string, open, second. And we're doing third on the second, and a fourth on the third. And open fourth. Sixth string on the first fret, and back to the D. Kind of almost doing a open, or a little bit of hammer on on that because uh, I'm getting kind of a couple licks on that sixth string. that anyway. I don't know if that's the way Willen does it, but hey, that's the way he does it. And that's, that's all I got right there. I don't know. So anyway, hopefully that's, a, hopefully that's a good enough to get you by there. And if not, maybe somebody else has done it better out there. I don't know. Let me know. But anyway, and then so it just speeds up there, of course. Where does it go? Good Lord only knows. It seems like it was just the other day. play that and sing it you know a few more times or whatever and hit it however you want to i think they get a harmonic in there or something get to jam in there toward the end but anyway you can end it however you want to but uh, once again appreciate y'all tuning in and i hope you've enjoyed this uh wayland jenny song honky tonk heroes on this friday night hope you're having a great one we'll see y'all in the next one thanks <laughs>